must have American dominance in space. Space, the final frontier, may be coming sooner than we think. I'm here by directing the Department of Defense and Pentagon to immediately begin the process necessary to establish a space force as the sixth branch of the armed forces. That's a big statement. We are going to have the Air Force and we are going to have the Space Force. A proclamation that has raised many questions, particularly what would American dominance in space look like? Space is the provenance of all mankind, meaning that a nation state cannot simply declare territorial space like you can declare territorial waters. There's no such thing. Teresa Hitchens is an expert in cyber and space security and is not alone among the many experts scratching their heads in response to Trump's proclamation of a sixth military wing. Both the Air Force and the Pentagon, the DOD, have been solidly in opposition. Even um, Mattis, Jim Mattis, is, has, General Mattis, has come out in public as being opposed to this concept. I have no idea what the motivation for Trump is. But actually, creating a sixth wing of the U.S. military would be a process of massive proportions with a timeline that no one can really predict. Space has always been kind of like the bastard stepchild of the Air Force. It hasn't had a lot of priority. There are going to be many, 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 many more satellites in space over the next five to 10 years. We are talking, moving from something like 1,500 active satellites to 10,000 active satellites. Since over 60 years ago, when the Russians launched the satellite Sputnik, the world has become increasingly more dependent on information from objects orbiting the Earth, making space a valuable piece of real estate. And what do you do as a military strategist when you're preparing for a possible conflict? You look for your opponent's vulnerabilities. In response, countries like Russia and China are both developing anti-satellite missiles. Any country that can launch a ballistic missile could potentially um, use those missiles as anti-satellite weapons. The elements, if you will, of a space arms race are already in place. The real question is whether or not countries decide to actually develop such technologies as dedicated weapons and whether they deploy them. How space as a territory develops has yet to play out, but if it is to be dominated, who presides over it would not just have the geopolitical cachet, but would control the physical grounds of where information is transmitted.